I decided to actually rewire this mirror and uh, right now I'm going to just check the mirror movement. I cheated a little bit because the heat element is not good inside the actual glass so I'm not doing the heat element because those wires were the worst. So I'm only doing motion, fold and unfold. These are potentiometers for memory. So let's go inside the car and try to move the mirror. I haven't tested it yet, so let's try it. Okay. Now also, I do have a problem here. These lights came back on. I don't know what's up with those. I have to deal with that as well. Let's see if the angle sensor goes away. It doesn't seem to be going away. All right. Well, anyway. Now, first thing is unfolding. So it does unfold and then directional up, down, right, left. Yeah. It operates. Yeah, this is great. We're not blowing any fuses. Most pretty good. So yeah, very nice. And fold back in. All right. So this is the result on this one. Now I have to deal with potentiometers. And problem with those is the wires were so bad. So now I don't know which one goes worse. So I have to experiment on which wire to solder where. I'm just gonna solder, well, whatever. I'll just make it happen. So this mirror, I'll do. The driver's side, I'm not sure on the driver's side yet. I think I'll, I'll make it move, but I'm probably not gonna deal with memory because potentiometers, we have no plug. I can solder three cables, but we have no plug to solder the other four. It's just too much. The pins are so small. So I'm probably gonna, it's just gonna be one time, one time operation. Just solder cables directly, they will never come off. That's what I'm gonna probably do. But that mirror is, it is what it is. All right, so this is it. This was a quick update. And I'll still deal with these lights at some point. I mean, I have to check again what's going on because uh, lights, they, they went off. And now they came back on all three at once. So I have to double check. On what's happening. Okay, so I want to make another addition about 97S600 coupe. So this is its instrument cluster and I guess I'll show you the coil that I insert, you know, I secured the coil with the chip. But anyway, the problem here is this car had no illumination and I was going through all the possibilities and um all the way down to ignition switch and not ignition switch i'm sorry the headlight switch but it didn't make sense but still i want to check it and all came down back to instrument cluster and right now this is the instrument cluster with no dials this is just its board you know circuit board and let me put on the lights let's make it dark so here are the lights so let's put on here is it's just one bulb you know and here are the rest of the lights they illuminate i don't know why camera doesn't pick it up i guess automatic mode is not set right okay okay well maybe here, the switch, all right, fine, switch. So you can see that this particular switch lights up. All the other buttons light up except for a few. I mean, there are some bulbs blown over here. We got uh, climate, we got uh, glo uh, glove box buttons. This door, for example, does not work, right? This is the, the driver's door. We have the headlight right here, you can see. This is our headlight illumination so yeah I know it's dark but that's how I supposed to show you um, lights up above I should go into manual mode but anyway long story short 
Let's see if I can catch these lights. Well, they do work. Okay, so here is here here they are. Off, on. You see how the lights come on. Same here. See, I'm turning on and off the lights. And same on the door. Door illumination. And also the cluster illumination for that matter, because cluster did not light up at all. It was just absolute darkness. So anyway, like right here, most likely is the light bulb that's not good in this door. Um, these light bulbs are probably not good, but at least I got cluster, thank God. And now I can put it back together. It's past midnight because I was really stressed out about it. Now the problem was, is the problem was on the board. It was on the actual cluster board. It took me a while to find it actually. It was one of the chips on the board and uh, I replaced it and now it works. Okay, so another quick addition. Cluster is put back together. This place, the light, one of the light bulb was out. So let's just put on lights. As we can see, we do have lights. We do have illumination all over the vehicle now. Yeah, I know it's dark, but illumination has been restored. On, off. That's great. I also put in a bulb for SRS. This bulb was missing. Yeah, we got seat belt situation behind me. Um, SRS bolt was missing. I don't know why, but see now. Actually, you have to wait a little bit. It doesn't seem like there is an air because SRS light comes on and then it goes away and does not return. So that sounds like we have no problem with SRS. I don't know why bulb was missing in there, but other than that, we're in good shape. So that's it. It's like 3 a.m. in the morning. I gotta go. Just wanted to add this so you can see that the cluster is all together. All right.